still the leading cause of hospital admissions and mortality in the Lac Basin region. But the coming of malaria vaccine is changing the health indicators in this area. My name is Beldin Waleula, and on this week's episode of Health Digest, we focus on the uptake of malaria vaccine in the country. Busia County is part of the Lake region where malaria is endemic and the disease prevalence is high. At Busia County Referral Hospital, we meet Eunice Buluma, whose four-year-old grandson came here convulsing due to severe malaria. Kurudi by Sasita, wakani ita tumtota kona malaria, anagalala tuchi na taku chesa na wenzake. Kweli nikaenda nikamuchukua, nikaleta nyumbani. Kuweka kwa nyumba, nikamulalisha kwa kiti, ili nipate pengine tena, pengine nimpea madawa. Nikasikia nalia. Anapiga nduru, watitumbo, mama tumbo, kukuja kupela natoa jasho, mwili ni moto kila male. Nika mubeba. Kubeba, kuweka hapa. Shingo ikachapa shingo, ikaenda saidi moja. Tena kurudisha hivi, tena ikanguka saidi moja. Na jaribu kusimamisha, hawezi. Kukalisha china, tinichukua tanguo, basi nifalishe. Anaenda kila mahali. E, rakatio ni kachukua boda. Ni kakimbia kwa dispenser yenye ilikuwa karibu madende. Kufika pale wakasema pana. Enda na mbale. Since he was in a critical state, she was referred here for specialized care. Ma doktor wa meshugulika nae, wakanyelezea wapeleka, wapige picha kichwa, nikapeleka. Wakapiga x-ray. Wakatolea damu ya mgongo, nini maji ya mgongo. Na naona lakini vile nilitoka na mbale, alikuwa meisha. Hata mena alikuwa mejiuma, haoni. Hata wezi tingishi. Hata wakidunga shindani. Sasa tuseme last week, alafu hii, hii, likuwa Wednesday. Nikaona sasa napanua mdomo kidogo. Akaanza kama hata wakidunga shindana na sikia uchungu kidoga na tingeka na. Saisi naona natuwa sauti, lakini kuongea ongei. Alafu shingo, diyo naona bado uchungu, hii shingo bado inaenda. But not everyone lives to tell the tale of malaria. It has left unhealed scars in many families in Busia County. Beatrice Nabuire recounts how she lost her grandson to malaria. Sasa ilifika sadne ya usiku, ni kasikia analia, ni kaenda kwa rumi penye wanalala. Ni kamushika mwili ni moto imerutu sasa tena kuwa moto sana. Ni kajuulisa sasa sayu usiku, sinago tunamuna yote ya kufika madende. Madende ni mbali na itaji pesa. She was later referred to Busia Referral Hospital, where his grandson died. Kufika Busia, kwa geti hivi, nika ingia kweli, daktara kaniona mtuta haku vibaya sana. Haka nipereka paka kwa wodi. Haka niambia, enda tafuta file. Wakaanza kujaribu kumudumia. Lakini sasa hata sile, ayu kuwesekana. Kumbe maleri ilikuwa imemlemea kabisa. Na... Malisa tu kuchukua file, nikarudi hapo, kwa kitanda, penye mtota alikuwa, mtota kaaga. It happens that Busia County, most cases reported are of severe malaria that is accompanied by convulsions and anemia. At Busia Referral Hospital, there is a whole ward set aside for children with severe malaria. If I talk of, uh, if we admit 10 children, in a day, yeah? mm -hmm. it means uh, six of them have malaria. Because uh, when we do our quarterly reviews, uh, we have of the disease burden as a unit, uh, we get uh, malaria comes just immediately after pneumonia. Yeah? And the difference is not huge uh, in that if we have admitted a number of uh, 320, because we usually we are between 280 and 320 in a, in a quarter, then it means uh, if we had 320, then 
like almost 150, 180 were malaria cases. Yeah. So despite uh, for our for Matayo sub county, we don't have a malaria vaccine being given, huh? but it's being given in our neighboring sub county. That is Nambale. But we have other supportive uh, other supportive activities that are taking place. We have the mal the nets. Treatment of severe malaria takes more time and resources for a child to recover. One of the biggest challenges. When we are talking of severe malaria, most of our children, they will come in presenting with uh, a fever of above 38.5. Usually the AVPU will be less than, that is the conscious, consciousness. Huh? They'll be, it will be less than A. That is a lot. The children, they, either they can only respond to a voice or pain or they are unconscious. Yeah? And then we are talking of their vomiting, like vomiting everything, everything, everything. They will be vomiting, and then um, they are in distress, respiratory distress. Actually, if uh, most of the time they come in uh, the referrals or even the walk-in, that is, they have been referred from our MCH. Eh? With the big malaria burden that Busia Referral Hospital bears, the hospital faces frequent stockouts of malaria treatment regimen and blood that is mostly needed by children who present with anemia. Bringing in the children is taking too long, yeah, because this child will present to our peripheral sites huh, with the febrile convulsions, yeah, and uh, either because of supplies or because of uh, ferrying them here, it takes a while. Like they can go to the hospital now, it is nine, and then by the time they reach to us, it is five, and this child has been convulsing. Yeah, and so we end up staying for them for so long. Actually, it now it increases even the hospital burden because it has to stay with that child all that period. Eh? They are unwell. That is one. Our referral system has not been streamlined well, and then the issues of uh, fuel. Yeah, the child can go there. We are willing to bring them to hospital, but how do we take them there? We are talking of far ends like Budalangi. They are sick. The officer there has noticed that this child, for us here, we are not going to do it. Let us refer this child to Busia. But how do they reach here? It is a challenge. Yeah? And uh, stockouts. Once in a while, we are having stockouts and uh, they are really affecting us. Most hospital admissions and hospital visits in Busia County are due to malaria. Following the Kenya Malaria Indicator Survey 2020, Busia County is the leading county in Kenya with the highest number of malaria cases at 39%. That means that if you randomly test anybody in Busia today, 39 people will have malaria out of every 100 people. So if you take the population of Busia to be 1 million, that means 390,000 people, as we talk now, have malaria. Now, that's what you call the Kenya Marine Indicator Survey findings. But now, as per our regular monthly statistics, eh, for every 100 patients visiting any hospital in Busia County, four of them will be tested and confirmed to have malaria. 40 out of 100, that's 40%. If you go to the wards, any ward now in Busia County, 11 out of 100, 11%, will have malaria. That's what we call an average. But if we visit a specific facility like where we are now, Busia County Referral Hospital, which is our referral center, six out of every 10 children in the ward now have malaria. And uh, most of them are referred there having very severe symptoms of malaria. Severe symptoms include things like convulsions, severe anemia, and the rest. Uh, and unfortunately, for every 100 deaths in Busia, two deaths are caused by malaria. For every, that means 2%. For every death, this, this includes road traffic accidents, all those deaths, old age, 2% is from malaria. So it's very unfortunate that we still get malaria that kills our people. In 2019, Kenya pioneered the use of the malaria vaccine in some sub-counties in the Lake Endemic region. To date, 
Over 750,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered to children in these counties. 275,000 Kenyan children have received at least one dose out of the four scheduled doses of the vaccine, while over 45,000 children have received their full course of four doses of the vaccine. If the malaria vaccine can be used, can, the, 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 can be used through the routine immunization, the number three, if it's causing complication, the number four is how is the uptake compared to other vaccines. Eh? I'm happy to report that from our data, the uptake of malaria vaccine, dose one, dose two, dose three, is very good. It's comparable to other vaccines, eh? be it uh, pentavalent, pneumococcal vaccine and the rest. But however, the fourth dose, the uptake is a little bit reduced. Compare the third dose and the fourth dose, the fourth dose is much less. We don't know the reason why, but it is, and that's where you need another operational research, eh? but it's hypothesized that because the fourth dose comes at two years and the children come for their last dose of measles at 18 months or at, some come at nine months, because there's no any other vaccine around that period. The malaria vaccine is given simultaneously with other childhood vaccines in four doses, where the last dose is given when a child is two years. In 2021 alone, 9,633 children received their first dose of the malaria vaccine in Ibusia County. The health volunteers in Ibusia County have been trained to test and treat malaria by non-governmental organizations such as Ambreth Health Africa. The community health volunteers are also tasked with referring severe malaria cases to hospitals. Yukuna cases ata sa zingine na ito usiku. Wenye wanaweza, wanaweza kuja, wani bebe na piki piki, tukuje ama wani pay escort mpaka kwa boma. Kama huyu mama kuna wakati aligonjeka malaria, kijanake wa hii nyumba alinikujia usiku kitu kama... Sima hivyo sima watu hivyo. Hivi. Lakini ongenda huyu. Sawa. Walikuja wakanibeba kwa piki piki, wakanileta hapa, nika test mama, nika pata kwa malaria positive, nika mpea dawa hiyo usiku. The following day nika fuatilia, nika ona akona changes. At this facility in Viwa constituency, we meet Anyango, a mother of three. She tells us her second born was prone to malaria infections and this made her take the initiative of ensuring her youngest daughter is vaccinated against the disease. Chanjo, tulifundishwa na maituanga aje, CHVs. And then sasu kikuja hapa clinic pia wanapia na health education. Sasa from there si unapata information. So niliamua tu apate tu chanjo. Ok, mtoto, ako na miezi kumi. Chanjo ya kwanza alipata akiwa miezi sita. Ya pili akapata kama ako seven months. Na ya tatu akapata nine months. Anyango advises other mothers to embrace malaria vaccination. Mi niliona kama ni mingi. But uh, after umefundishwa, na hii kitu wanasema, eti walisha fanya experiment. Sasa kama venyo walifanya experiment, hii kuenda vibaya na wow, mi niliona ni sao. Sana sana, ilikuwa ni izuie hiyo malaria sababu kabla ya malaria ikuje kuna ingine ilikuja kuzuia ku, kuhara na niliona ilisaidia so hata hii niliona itanisaidia Homa Bay County is also facing challenges with the uptake of the third and fourth doses of the malaria vaccine uh, the uptake has been uh, well except for the third and the fourth dose where we are still struggling but uh, we put in measures to ensure that uh, we get these children come back for the third and the fourth doses. Yeah. Maybe just we go by numbers uh, in Aubrey uh, Town, B1, and uh, I have uh, uh, the number for the entire county 
yeah, so far we've been able to see uh, for first doses we are aware you are, we are giving fourth doses or four doses so first dose we've been able to give uh, 30,895 uh, second dose 25,224 uh, third dose 19,488 then fourth dose 3,000 and 38. Okay, in uh, 2015, the prevalence of malaria was uh, 27%, and uh, that is based on the Kenya Malaria Indicator Survey that is done every five years uh, to inform our program. And then uh, the last survey was done in 2020, and the prevalence went down to 3.6%. Yeah, so uh, this is based on a number of interventions, not uh, only malaria vaccine, but uh, malaria vaccine also had a, a greater impact on it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does the county, any other interventions that, that you are rolling out? Oh, apart from the vaccine. malaria vaccine, we implement uh, vector control interventions uh, that target uh, mosquitoes, like. Uh, indoor residual spraying and spraying of the houses where mosquitoes normally rest. And then we also have use of uh, insecticide treated mosquito nets. We also have uh, uh, larviciding where we spray areas where mosquitoes give, give birth. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, we also have use of uh, uh, drugs to prevent malaria in pregnancy. Yeah, what we call IPTP. Community health volunteers have come in handy in Homa Bay County, especially in contact tracing of mothers who have not presented their children for the third and fourth dose. We are putting in measures to ensure that they get back to the facility. Um, one of the measures uh, we put is uh, we have default tracking uh, booklets, so we generate a list of defaulters then we give to the uh, community health uh, volunteers to be able to trace the mothers back. Uh, another mechanism we are using is um, phone calls. In our permanent register for immunization, we do have um, phone, phone numbers. So unfortunately, some of the mothers or the caregivers, we cannot be able to reach them through the, the, their numbers. And therefore, we engage the CHVs or the community health volunteers to be able to do that. Yeah. With interventions like the use of insecticide treated mosquito nets and the introduction of the malaria vaccine, the prevalence of this deadly disease is said to be going down. The third and the fourth dose of malaria vaccine are facing some challenges when it comes to the uptake. But with more sensitization, this could change. Building Waliaula Kete News in Homa Bay County.